hello everyone in this video I will talk about the gears and its type so let's start the video first of all what is mean by a gear so gear is nothing but a mechanical element that is used to transfer power from one shaft to another shaft by successive engagement of teeth so that is called as a gear now let's move on to the types of gear so gears are classified based on the position of axis of two shafts so they are classified as a parallel axis gear under that we have a spur gear helical gear double helical gear we have a intersecting axis gear under that we have a bevel gear and non intersecting and perpendicular axis gear under that is the worm gears so we'll see all these gear types in detail in upcoming slides so parallel axis gear that is the first gear is a spur gear so to transmit the power between two parallel axis shaft the spur gear can be used if we talk about the teeth of the spur gear they are cut straight which is parallel to the axis of the gear so this spur gear they are simple in construction and easy to manufacture so they are most commonly used gear among the all type of the gear if you talk about the engage of engagement of teeth so the engagement of teeth is a sudden so there is a sudden line contact between the engagement of teeth due to which there is noisy operation of this gear so these gears are suitable for low speed application and the efficiency of this gear is also good if we talk about the application of this spur gear they are used in the clocks electric screwdrivers pumps sugar cane crusher machine we also see the application in machine tool gear boxes in automobile gear boxes so these are the common application of this spur gear let's see the next parallel axis gear that is the helical gear so here helical gear is used to transmit the power between two parallel axis shaft if we talk about the teeth the teeth are cut at some angle to the axis of gear so that angle is called as helix angle of the gear so helix angle of the two helical gear is same in magnitude but of opposite hand that means that here the left hand helix angle gear will mesh with the right hand helix angle gear so as the helical gear they are compact in size so they are also difficult to manufacture because they are their construction is compact again if you talk about the engagement of teeth in helical gear the engagement of teeth is a gradual so they are smooth and silent in operation as compared to spur gear the efficiency of gear is also good as compared to spur gear so these helical gears are used in automotive industrial and machine tool gear boxes we see the application of this helical gear so next gear is the herrick bone gear now this is also called as double helical gear now why there is a need of this double helical gear because helical gear create the axial thrust or load onto shaft and bearing to avoid this we are using the herrick bone gear so if we talk about the herrick bone gears they are equivalent to two helical gears so you can see this first and this second so they are equivalent to two helical gear one having right hand and other having left hand so they are of opposite hand and they are on to the same shaft and they are separated by some distance so that is the herrick bone gear so if you talk about the application of this herrick bone gear the application is limited because of because of they are not easy to manufacture so their application is limited they are used in heavy machinery such as coal cutter aerospace engine so we see the application of these herrick bone gears now next type is the parallel axis gear that is the internal gear so in this you can see the animation for internal gear pair that is internal gear is meshing with the external pinion so both these gears are rotating into the same direction so because they are difficult to manufacture their application is also limited so this internal gear pair we can see the application in epicyclic gear train this internal gear is used now next 
parallel axis gear is the rack and pinion so here you can see a straight line gear that is called as a rack and a cylindrical gear that is called as a pinion so this straight side rack is meshing with this pinion so in this case the linear motion of a rack is converted into the rotary motion of the gear pinion so to convert this motion vice versa we use the rack and pinion arrangement if we see the application of rack and pinion they are used in the lifting mechanism machine tools in machine tools we see in lathe machine drilling machine and milling machine the application of this rack and pinion they are also used in automobile system in steering system they are used to turn the steering so this is the these are the application of rack and pinion now let's move on to the intersecting axis gear that is the bevel gear so the two intersecting axis shaft that is usually at 90 degree they are connected by this bevel gear you can see the animation of bevel gear so the appearance of bevel gear is similar to the frustum of cone so they are looking to similar to the frustum of a cone they are conical in shape also the width of the gear also decreases from one point to another point so these bevel gears they are compact and they are difficult to manufacture so they are their application is also very limited they are used in the differential gear boxes in differential gear boxes where speed reduction is required so there we can see the application of this bevel gear now next type of a gear is the non intersecting and perpendicular axis gear so non intersecting and perpendicular axis shaft they are connected by this gear so in this gear this is this is a gear pair of worm and worm gear so this worm is basically of cylindrical shape it looks like a screw so this worm may have a single start or multi start thread so this worm may be left hand or right hand this worm gear is basically a helical gear which have the conical shape teeth cut onto it to accommodate it into the worm so basically this worm gears are used where the large speed reduction is required around 17 is to 1 speed speed reduction is possible in worm gears so if we talk about the worm gears application they are used in the lifting mechanism they are used into the cranes conveyor arrangement we can see the application of these worm gears so this is all about the types of gears hope you like this video thank you for watching